accept Islam. If you want to accept Islam right now, you can come forward. Who's the young lady? The, um, the, the excitement of our brothers and people, actually they're happy because they're saying God is great. Um, it's not like a rugby match. <laughs> they're just saying God is great. And we Muslims, we don't really whistle and clap. That's not what we do. That's not from the Sunnah. But if we want to say God is great, that's an exclamation that we're making because of excitement and because of being happy and good feeling. <clears throat> um, these four young ladies, I mean, I thought the question was for one, but mashallah, this is the greatness of Allah. We'd like to also ask, is there any other non-Muslim that would like to come forward or just raise their hands and make the acknowledgement along with these young ladies? Is there anybody else? If so, just come down, or if there's anyone who themselves be as a bit shy. If there's someone that's a bit shy, then we'll have a room and a session that we can talk to you at a little bit later, inshallah. I have witnessed myself accepting Islam out of the, out of the nearly 7,000 people that I have seen personally accept Islam. I will say to you that 65 or 70 percent were women. And this is an indication itself, this is proof enough that there's enough beauty in Islam that with all the distortions that people seem to throw out about it and the oppression of women and something like that, these women didn't buy that. The beauty of Islam, the balance of Islam, the treasure of Islam seems quite evident. And so, to make things very easy, this is not a ritual. This is just a means of making a, a public proclamation. And may Allah bless you, you ladies, uh, for being courageous enough to come here and start the trans transition and to enter the transaction because that's what it is. You're making a transition, but you're also entering a transaction with the Creator. Not with me, with the Creator. So I want you to say these words after me and they're simple words. I'm going to translate afterwards to make sure that you understand what you said, okay? Say, A'udhu Billahi Mina Shaitan Nirajim Bismillah Ar Rahman Nir Rahim La Ilaha Illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Ashhadu Allah Ilaha Illallah Wahdahu La Sharika Allah Wa Ashadu Anna Muhammadan Abduhu Wa Rasulu Sallallahu Alayhi Wa Sallam Amin The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, he used to add something for people who entered Islam from Christianity to make something clear. He used to ask them to acknowledge that I accept that Jesus Christ is a prophet and messenger of Almighty God, a spirit and a word from 
Mary who was pure. So this is what he used to ask the Christians to say to make sure that they severed from themselves this issue of that Jesus is the son or that he is divine. So I want you to say, and I bear witness that Jesus Christ is a prophet and messenger of God and that he is a word and a spirit given to Mary who was pure and chaste. I mean. Now, this package is sort of a new Muslim starter's kit. <laughs> now there are brothers and sisters who are also new Muslims and new Muslim helpers who will answer any questions that you have, who will give you the support that you need, who will provide you with any kind of, um, help you work out any kind of problems that you have. That's, that's, that's exactly what they do. Um, we want to say to you, that one of the benefits of becoming Muslim is that if there's something you owed God, something you did in your lives that only you know and God knows, today it's forgiven, it's finished. You start with a clean slate with God. But if you owe somebody money, you still got to pay that. God can't forgive debts that you owe other people, you see? So we want you to be sincere. The whole thing about Islam is, don't think that you got to flip overnight and tomorrow you got to start following all the rules. It's, it's not like that. You're not going to change overnight. But use your sincerity. Be sincere towards God. Start to learn. Start to read. Start making the changes in your life. And use your own intelligence to determine whether your family, your colleagues, your neighbors, your friends, how you want to deal with that. But keep this in mind, thousands of us met the same challenges and you'll come through them also, okay? May Allah bless all of you. Okay? Thank you so much.